Bigtree Tech has been my go-to recommendation for anybody wanting to upgrade their 3D printer's controller for some years now. Starting at under $50, they are a great value for what you get. With the growing popularity of Clipper firmware, Bigtree Tech recently released a new series of boards called Manta that takes either a Pi Compute Module 4 or their own CB1. With this, you no longer need to power two separate boards with the CM4 slotting into either of those Manta boards. The CM4 has been more available than any of the standalone Pies, but you can now skip the Pi altogether and go with Big Tree Tech's CB1 module. The CB1 is developed by Big Tree Tech and is the exact same form factor as the Raspberry Pi CM4. This is really exciting news for anybody that's interested in Clipper. Big Tree Tech sent over the Manta M8P, and in today's video, we will be diving a bit more into these new boards as well as the CB1. So with all that being said, and without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Starting off with the CB1, as mentioned, this is meant to be a replacement for the need of a Pi, and it's been modeled after the form factor of the Raspberry Pi CM4. The CB1 comes equipped with a 64-bit ARM Cortex, A53, 1.5 GHz processor, and 1 GB of DDR3 RAM that supports Debian Linux. The price I've seen this CB1 going for is right around $35, which is much better than the price of any Raspberry Pi that you'll be able to get right now because of all of the insane shortages and all of the scalper pricing that's going on. Big Tree Tech also released a Pi 4B adapter that has the same form factor as a full-size Raspberry Pi down to the US USB ports and GPIO pins. The adapter board will let you use either a CB1 or a CM4 and essentially gives you a full sized, full form factor Pi that can be used with any Clipper compatible mainboards. At the time of recording, they have the CB1 and the Pi 4B adapter bundled together for $40. And that brings us to the new Manta boards. There are two versions, the M4P and the M8P. The M4P has four stepper motor driver slots and the M8P has eight stepper motor driver slots and is an absolute monster of a board. Both boards have a slot for either the CB1 or CM4, so you'll only need this one board to run both Linux as well as drive all of your 3D printer hardware. The version I was sent is the M8P, so that's primarily what I'm going to be focusing on, but I will have links to their product page in the description that has both the pinout for the M4P and the M8P. They both have an insane amount of connections, so if you do want to just jump over there and take a look at that or after the video, that will be in the description for you. The M8P comes with a 32-bit STM32 G0B1 ARM Cortex M0 Plus and can be used on a 12 or 24 volt system. If you are using high voltage drive like the 5160, there is a separate power input specifically for those stepper motor drivers. There's too much to run through every single input on this board, but I will do my absolute best to point out as many of the things as I can. And again, the pinouts will also be linked in the description. On the CB1 or CM4 side of the board, there's two micro HDMI ports, one USB-C, Ethernet, two full-sized USB 2.0, and one USB 2.0 header, as well as a motherboard fan. A bit further down, there is an additional motherboard fan, and on top of that, there are seven more fan connections that can all be adjusted for five volts, 12 volts or 24 volts by adjusting a jumper. There are 40 pin headers just like you would get with a full size Pi and I love the fact that they are colored. In the center, you have two expansion ports, one servo, filament runout, two RGB, inductive probe, five standard thermistors, and a PT100. On the far end, there are four connections for heater cartridges and three replaceable fuses. On the underside of the board, there are two micro SD card slots. One is for the MCU and the second one is for Linux. There's one SPI connector for a touchscreen, one CSI connector for a camera, and a DSi connector as well. This board is completely decked out and is going to be a great option for tons of large 3D printer upgrades and custom builds. I also have to appreciate the general look and layout of this board. It is an absolutely gorgeous 3D printer controller and the silk screening looks awesome. I walked out to the kitchen and showed Erin the board and she said it was pretty, which is definitely not something I'm used to hearing my wife say about a 3D printer controller. From tool changers to Core XYs with three or four point bed leveling, I'm really excited to see more people get their hands on this board. Big Tree Tech continues to show that they are not afraid to innovate and adapt to the growing demands of the more complex 3D printers that people are building or that are out there on the market. As of right now, they have the M8P with the CB1 bundled with eight TMC 2209s on their website for $99, which I think is just an absolutely insane deal considering that right now you can pay 
50 to 80 dollars easily for just a raspberry pi and with this you get the board the drivers and the chip capable of running debian linux which will allow you to run clipper i am super excited about these new products from big tree tech and i'm really looking forward to throwing the m8p into that larger printer build but i'm going to be ordering the smaller m4p as well just to have on hand and maybe use it in a printer build that doesn't quite need eight stepper motor drivers let me know in the comments down below what you think if you plan on picking one of these up and what your thoughts are on having these the cm4 or cb1 built into the 3d printers controller a lot of people i know were complaining about having to have two separate boards and so i do think that having it all in one really makes for a nice sleek package on that note don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos we make a video every single week so there's always fresh content coming your way and if you do want to support the channel furthermore i'll have links down below in the description over to our patreon where there are some really awesome rewards huge thank you to all of our existing patreon supporters i appreciate each and every one of you for allowing me to come back every single week and spend more time doing what I love, which is making content for you all to enjoy. On that note, this has been Daniel from ModBot, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace, guys!